On the topic of that beer, uh, I've uh, checked on the internet uh, and also got guidance from uh, Ayatollah Ali Sistani from Iraq. Uh, and he basically said about that beer that you should not harm yourself or harm the image of Islam. Personally, I think that uh, that beer uh, gives a very bad image of Islam. If you if you go on the internet and you search for Shia Islam, the first thing you see is people cutting themselves. I think that America, or shall I say the West, or the elite of the West, fear Shia Islam not because of, of Iranians or because of nuclear weapons or because of anything, but because of the revolutionary principle of of Shia Islam. Uh, that, that is the reason why Iran is surrounded by maybe 30 American military bases. He said they cannot allow this revolutionary principle or this uh, liberation ideology to actually get out and, and infect the rest of the world. So they will try everything to harm the image of Iran together with the image of Shia Islam and I think all this uh, so-called social media websites and even uh, Google and you know in, everything else on the internet is actually playing part of that same game. If we change this whole idea of bloodletting into rather blood donation, I think it's very good because I'm a I'm a donor myself. I've donated almost a hundred pints in South Africa uh, since the age of eighteen. Uh, and uh, maybe saved many lives, motor car accidents or whatever. And I think it will give a very positive image to Shia Islam if people rather donated blood than, than to actually cut themselves. If we, if we talk about Ayatollah uh, Zakzaki in Nigeria, and we don't know what his condition is now, but uh, he was severely wounded in a, in a protest, uh, this is what, what the West and the elite in the West actually fear, is that this Islam that actually went into Nigeria maybe 20, 30 years ago, there were no Shias in Nigeria, and today there's maybe 15 or 20 million Shias in Nigeria. This is what they fear more than anything else, because I believe that not only Africa, but the whole of Latin America and Southeast Asia, and even Russia today, is, will actually take to Shia Islam like fish to water because of this revolutionary uh, principle or this liberation ideology that's embedded inside Islam, or specifically original Islam, which is Shia Islam. And I think that the efforts that uh, Ayatollah Zakdaki made to actually convert this uh, idea of Tadbir into blood donation is a fantastic idea and it will be very good for, for Islam to actually go that route rather than Tadbir. Uh, so, so the last question is, is if you would be Shia now and you would see the pictures of this Kati, yeah. is it, of this Tadbir, if you would become Shia? Or? No, no, definitely not. Yeah. Um, I, I'll, uh, you know, I'll come back to Ayatollah Sistani that said you should not harm yourself or actually harm the image of Islam. I believe that these pictures of Tadbir is very, very harmful to Shia Islam. And I don't know how one can get it off the internet, but it has to somehow be replaced by a more positive message. I don't think it's good for Islam at all. Because uh, I don't know where the origins, if the origins is from self-flagellation that the Roman Catholics did a thousand years ago. But I don't see how that in any way relate to the message of Karbala or uh, what people should actually take away from the sacrifice of Imam Hussein.